Welcome back. Uh, tonight, a tall order for the tallest bridge in California. Yeah, the Forest Hill Bridge is undergoing a major inspection to make sure it's structurally sound. The bridge stretches across the American River, east of Auburn, right off I-80. You've seen it, chances are. That's where your reporter, Placer County reporter Brady Hobble, spent the day getting answers on why the work is necessary. Standing 730 feet above the American River is the tallest bridge in California, connecting Auburn to Forest Hill. Uh, obviously an iconic bridge. Now the half mile stretch of bridge is undergoing testing of all 282 steel welds. And a butt weld is where two pieces of steel are abutted together and we and that's the weld is kind of the thing that holds it all together. The project is a federally mandated maintenance project that will focus on welds used with T1 steel. T1 steel is a higher strength steel that was used in the 60s and 70s to build bridges like this. However, some bridges on the East Coast constructed with the same type of steel have shown significant safety issues, including cracking and fractures. So the Federal Highway Administration is now requiring all bridges that contain T1 steel to be inspected, including the force Hill Bridge and they'll do that through ultrasonic testing. So they're looking for things that you can't see with the naked eye. It's like uh, going to the doctor for a checkup. We want to get in and make sure that um, everything is good with these special T1 welds. Federal and local crews will do that in two ways with safety at their top priority. Snooper trucks will allow crews to be lifted over the railing to access higher welds. For lower welds, they'll use scaffolding and spider baskets, a complicated job that could take a while. Crews say inspecting all 282 welds may take up to nine months. And it's a huge structure, so um, that's one of the biggest uh, and most complicated efforts is just making sure we get the engineers and inspectors where they need to be to do the testing. Yeah, it'll be a while, right? The project will cost about $6.2 million, 80% of it coming from the feds. The other 20% is local tax dollars.